Hey you guys, it's the Sagittarian Goddess and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, I hope you join the community here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me once again. <laughs> Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. I want to know who will be joining you in this love connection. Sagittarius, are you in love? Or are you sick of it? <laughs> it's either one or the two is what I'm getting in this reading. Already. Father of fire, Sagittarius. You have the father of fire. You are very serious. You could very well be in love. Or be very passionate about someone. Who shall it be? Is it another fire sign, Sagittarius? I see you very passionate. I see you very serious about a love connection here. Like, I feel it very strongly. You know how, how you feel it in your eyebrows? Your eyebrows get the scrunching up. I feel that. I feel a seriousness. You're serious about someone. Ooh. Despair. You're emotional, too. You have your doubts about someone too. Torment. Wow. You have your doubts about this, but you're so passionate about it. Like you still want it. You still want this? Wow. After despair and torment, it looks like you you could be in a relationship in a relationship, Sagittarius, that has brought you a lot of pain. But with this pain and with this disappointment here, this despair and torment, it looks like it has brought you closer to the person. Kind of toxic is what I'm seeing here. Sort of toxic. But I see you growing, repletion. It looks like you and this person has had to take steps to make something work or to get to a, a get to common ground here. You two could be going to counseling. You two could be practicing communication. You know, just practicing ways of, of interacting with one another better here. Because I'm getting there's some trust issues here. You could have felt trapped in this situation. You could feel trapped in a love situation here. You could be in love with someone that you also feel trapped with. Ooh, Sagittarius. Wow. It's very serious to you. Grief. Wow, Sagittarius. Who is this? Who is this lover, Sagittarius? Is this an air sign? Is this an air sign that you feel trapped with? Gemini? Yeah. Is this an air sign, Sagittarius? Is this a Gemini? I'm getting that this could be a Gemini here. I'm really trying to find out. Capricorn. Yeah. Wow. We have the devil. Sagittarius. You will be on this side. Gemini, you will be on this side. Sagittarius, you have this strong passion for Gemini here. Sagittarius, I'm getting that Gemini could be a, a past lover, someone that you're trying to let go of, but you you you're steady finding yourself with the Gemini. You're steady finding yourself thinking about the Gemini, trying to go towards the Gemini, and I see Gemini is thinking about you, but Gemini could have a different type of passion for you. It may not be the same type of passion or same type of intentions that you have towards them. Their intentions towards you could be very different. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It doesn't mean that it's bad. With this devil card here, this is Capricorn energy. It could also mean that they are serious about you. But I'm getting that um, this Gemini here that, that you are dealing with, Sagittarius, they're thinking about you, but it's not in the same way that you're thinking about them. And I know that can be very disappointing. Sagittarius and Gemini, welcome to your love reading. You two have a very serious relationship, a very serious connection. But I'm getting that there are some things that make you two not want to go towards one another here. But you want to, but you don't, but you want to, but you don't. Ooh, it's very back and forth. Is this a secret love here? Daughter of fire. You two could have a daughter or one of you could have a daughter. Both of you could have a daughter. You two could have a daughter together. 
Sagittarius I'm getting, that Gemini makes you feel very young here. You feel like you can learn a lot from Gemini. You like this about Gemini. This is one of the things that keeps you thinking about them. You're so serious about them. You feel very alive. You feel very in your fire when you are with Gemini. Stability. Yes, Gemini makes you feel very, very stable. Gemini could be thinking about having stability with you, but they are unsure with this daughter of fire. They're, they're unsure if this will work out because they don't know what lies ahead. This could be a very tricky situation. A Capricorn could be involved in this situation. Hmm. Something could be standing in the way because I see stability here and, and the devil here. Something could be standing in the way of this love. I got this in your past reading, you two. I don't know what y'all got going on, Sagittarius and Gemini. But it's something very powerful and it's something that, that, that Sagittarius is really thinking about. Queen of Shells. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius feels like they can be emotionally fulfilled with you, Gemini. Gemini is unsure if they can if they can feel that, if they can do that for you, if they can be that king of shells for you, Sagittarius, is what I'm getting here. I'm getting there's a lot of illusions surrounding Gemini. Yes, with the page of feathers, Gemini is out exploring their options, Sagittarius. Gemini could be with someone else. Gemini, that's just, that's what's coming out. <laughs> that's what's coming out here with this page of feathers. Gemini could be talking to someone else. Feathers is air. That is Gemini energy. They could be in their energy and they could be loving it there. Okay, Sagittarius. Although they have this thing with you, they have this powerful connection with you. They also have a powerful connection with others. It's what I'm getting here. Yes, Sagittarius. Sometimes the truth can hurt. And if this isn't your reading, this isn't your reading. Do not force a reading, you guys. Never force a reading. Every reading isn't for every person. But there are messages in every reading that could help you in your situation, whatever situation you go through. But Sagittarius, in this connection, Gemini looks to be fulfilling their need in other places. Maybe this is why they can't give you that stability here that they want to give you because they're not in the place to do that. The sun. Yeah, some things are going to come to the light, Sagittarius. You're going to realize very soon the intentions of Gemini, if you haven't already. You're going to realize some things very soon about yourself here with this father and daughter of fire. This is your energy, Sagittarius. So don't even worry about anything. You got this, okay? And the sun is also fire. This is Leo energy. Your emotions are going to be just fine without Gemini if Gemini chooses to go in a different route, okay? It looks like Gemini could go either way, Sagittarius. What will you allow? What will you allow, Sagittarius? A creative need, Leo energy, yes. Um, Gemini is exploring their options. Gemini is trying to figure themselves out right now, Sagittarius. And Gemini may not be able to give you what you need in, in this time. They may, they just may not be able to give you what you want, what you desire here. Regardless of the passion. You, two, you can have passion and a connection with someone, that, but that doesn't mean that they're going to fulfill those necessities that you that you need fulfilled, okay? In a, in a, in a real and genuine, genuine and long-term love connection. Does that mean that they are a bad person? Does that mean that they aren't a good partner? No, it just means that you are two are in two different places, two different times, and divine timing is everything, Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sagittarius and Gemini. What does Sagittarius need to know about their love life? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, Sagittarius, you may need to be open with Gemini, or maybe you have been open with Gemini about how you feel. Maybe this is why they are not coming towards you at this time, or they're hesitant about coming towards you. They're they're open to exploring other options here. You could have come on too strong is what I'm getting here with this fire. Yeah, Sagittarius, everyone can handle that fire, baby. You have to understand that. It's not for the weak, okay? 
chemistry yes you two have very strong chemistry i mean when you two are together oh it is like amazing is what i'm saying like this is why sagittarius you are very very focused and passionate about gemini and gemini has that same attraction to you but as i said gemini could have other options okay they are juggling here they are juggling they have chemistry with you and they could have chemistry with someone else okay what does Sagittarius need for Gemini to know? You can use my shoulder. Yes, Sagittarius, you're very emotional. You have an emotional connection with Gemini. You you want to be friends with Gemini here. You want to be there for Gemini. You don't want to be in the dark about anything. You want Gemini to open up to you. And you want them to know that you are, are there. You are here for them. Wow. You two could, could have started off as friends is what I'm getting here. Gemini could also be going through some things here. And this is why you're getting this message, Sagittarius. Maybe Gemini has some things that they do not want you to be a part of. Does this mean that they're being secretive? Not necessarily. It just means that they don't want you to be a part of it, Sagittarius. They don't want to bother you with this information. They could feel like a burden here with this devil card. They could feel like the things that they got going on could affect you in a negative way. This could be protection, Sagittarius. Take it how it resonates, okay? What does Gemini need for Sagittarius to know? I want something new. <laughs> Most definitely, Gemini wants something new. They, they are not interested right now in the connection that you're interested in right now and they may not be communicating this to you with the page of feathers they could be very immature in their in their uh, communication they could be good at communicating some things but when it comes to the real stuff they could have a hard time communicating that and that's what i'm getting here they could be afraid of your reaction maybe they don't want to hurt you maybe they just want to move forward but I'm getting that Gemini could be reaching out to you very, very soon, Sagittarius, if they have not. And Gemini, if Sagittarius hasn't reached out to you, they could be reaching out to you very soon with the love, with the love offer here, because they are very serious about, about you, Gemini. So what are you going to do, Gemini? What, what would be your response, Gemini? Are you going to be honest and tell them the truth? Do you want something new with Sagittarius or do you want something new elsewhere? Be honest with Sagittarius, Gemini. Be honest with them. Be honest. What energy does Sagittarius and Gemini share? The Empress, beauty, abundance. Yes, most definitely. You two could not just be in the right in the right timing. You could not have the right timing right now to be together. One or both of you could need to do more shadow work, more work on yourself in order to make this work. One of you cannot be mature enough here in this connection to, to make this work. But you two are very powerful individuals separately. You two are very powerful you two are very inspirational and you two are very beautiful and abundant. You two have great futures ahead of you and you two are on the right path. It just may not be the timing for you two and it may not be meant for you two, but that is up to you two to decide that. It takes two to tango, okay? One person can't be tangoing around, okay? Uh-uh. That's not how this works. So one of you have to decide, do I want to move on from this? Do I want to keep holding on to what could be? Wow, that's a powerful message for you too. The Empress for Sagittarius and Gemini. Beautiful energy that you two share. You two could have a very spiritual connection here. Torment. Yeah. One of you, one of you are holding, is holding on to the chemistry, the passion. One of you is holding on to that. And Sagittarius, I'm getting that is you. I'm getting that Gemini could also be hold, holding on to it, but they're really doing their best to, to move forward here. Like they're doing their best to move forward. Sagittarius, I see you steady looking back at the past. You're, you're wanting to reconnect with Gemini. You're wanting to get closer to Gemini. And Sagittarius, I know how passionate you can get when when you have these strong feelings and strong chemistry with someone. Because that, that doesn't happen every day. But I need for you to know, Sagittarius, that it's okay to move on. It's okay to change direction. It's okay. 
it's okay to go a different route, Sagittarius. Be optimistic about the situation and know that just because something doesn't work out, just because something isn't isn't moving as fast as you would like, because I'm getting one, you, Sagittarius, you could be waiting for Gemini to mature and waiting for them to get their act together in this situation. It's okay when things don't go exactly how you envision them to go, Sagittarius. And I know you are a visionary. You you see things. You see. You see things. You see. And when you see, you know you can have. Okay, Sagittarius. So understand that everything that we see won't come into fruition. Okay? When we want it to. Sometimes that passion... You have to put that passion and that energy elsewhere. You have this passion within you. You carry this around everywhere you go, Sagittarius. Gemini knows this. Gemini knows your energy. You two know one another's energy with this empress. You two are very aware of your power individually. You two admire one another, but you two may not be in a place right now to give each other what the other person needs and wants. Wow, Sagittarius and Gemini, this was a very powerful reading. I wish you two the very best moving forward in this love connection. And if you two do decide to work things out in this connection, I wish you two the very best. You two share a strong passion. You two have a spiritual connection. And I just wish you two the very best moving forward. Wow, Sagittarius and Gemini, this is the Sagittarian goddess. And I will see you all in the next reading.